Okay, so I'm just going to protect my um, belt and I'm going to put this into two. Spray this on my hair. hard to come out so I'm just going to just put it in my hand it makes the hair sort of stick together just interesting I'm just going to apply as much as I can, make sure it gets into, it makes your hair feel like it's very dry and tangled. Ooh. I don't like the feeling, but that's the way it's supposed to be. my ends I think they need to be strengthened I'm going to do the next bit. And you can hear it. It sounds like soap suds. If you've ever had soap, the sound soap suds make, that's what it sounds like. Sort of that bubbling sound. And I'm making sure I get the driest but longest part of my hair, which is in the middle. I'm applying it as you would apply conditioner or moisturizer so making sure every part of my hair gets it it's strengthened especially some especially the color treated parts Done with this side, and then just I'm 
and I'm applying it to damp hair. So, gosh, let me see if I have. Um, applying it to damp hair. And, um, I co-wash my hair with Tresemme for two days in succession. Um, Because I've done this and it's quite a drying process, so. If you use the sachets, you probably need two of them. Yeah, uh, unless we are adding a little too much, but um, I think you need at least two sachets. too much but I think if you have curly hair you probably need, need, need a little more than people with um, straight hair or relaxed hair I think because of the curls and the kinks you need to get it out and you probably need just slightly more product I'd rather use this than use the egg. Um, everybody tells you how it stinks, but trust me, compared to egg, this doesn't smell that bad. I mean, I, I can't even tell you what it smells like. Um, it smells like something damp, like something that's damp and about to mold. That's the only way I can explain it, but it isn't. It's more like... Um, Soft, it's very sulfuric, sulfur di dioxide. Um, if you know what sulfur smells like, like the smell that comes on like a, a gas tank in your car. Okay, so I think I'm done. And then the next step is to um, is to blow dry it. And then once it's dry, you wash it out. So I'm just gonna wash my hands. Oh. I see that it, it um, strips my color. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Yeah, I'm trying out quick time. I normally use eye movies. So.
first of all, rinse my hair out. Hope you can see. I'm gonna rinse it out with warm water, cool it water. No manipulation. So um I'm trying not to manipulate it as they say. Just let the water run through and then once it's soaked, I'll then manipulate it. Well, just let all the product come out. Use an old t-shirt. Just I realized that the packet uh. of the step to the two-step protein treatment, this one, I think you need two if your hair is thick, like mine. I use like one of these and some of this to, just to saturate my hair. I think if you have thicker curly hair, I think if you have straighter relaxed hair or just Caucasian hair, I think one might be, depending on the length, I think you're safer buying two of these. Okay, so I have this and I have that. I'm going to use this and see how far it goes and then I'm also going to use this. Um, I'd already um, sealed it up because I'll be traveling back soon to Botswana, so I was just trying to get everything, you know, sealed so it doesn't um, spill in the suitcase for any reason. You never know. So just let me just get this off. So now I'm going to apply the balancing moisturizer. I'm supposed to leave it to your hair for two minutes. I might leave it a little longer simply because I, I the first time I did this this pro it is dr very drying. Okay, my hair feels soft so far. Um, and I'll see. Just gonna do it in four parts. And, um, the middle feels very dry. Um, I noticed that as I washed it out, but that could be for any reason. I'm just cutting this. Keep this away from it. So, so the two step, I'm not mincing on the product either. Make sure I get it on my ends and the middle. My middle was the driest part of my hair and the longest. Um, very fragranced. I think they do that purposefully, purposely because the other one doesn't smell too nice. It just smells like, to me, it smells like vinegar. Um, that's that's the one, oh, you know, sulfuric acid or sulfur dioxide. I think that's what it is. But yeah, I'm just going to make sure I moisturize it well because I know these treatments are usually um, drying somehow. I don't know why. I see it's stripping my hair color, so that's going to be something I have to think about now. But I'll probably always do it just before I, I color my hair, so it wouldn't matter if it's stripping it. Yeah. I'm going to do my rolling method. Yeah. I guess I have so much product it's spilling, which is fine. I don't think it's harmful. Okay, so that's it. So I think uh, you probably need quite a bit for 
one one won't do because this is the so what I'm gonna do is just um, I think the reason why they say um, just leave this in for two minutes because I think it's a proven um, thing that conditions don't work after a certain amount of time. So if you leave it in longer than two minutes, it's probably not going to do, make, make a difference. Whatever it's supposed to do, it does in two minutes. That's what I think the concept is about. But I would just follow it to a T. There's a whole science behind this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in a little longer than two minutes and then come back and then rinse it out and then recondition it with my other products and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so what I've done was I um, I left it I left the balancing moisturizer in my hair for quite a while, um, as I did other things. So I'm just going to rinse it out, and then um, rehydrate my hair. Okay, so hydrate my hair, and I'm going to hydrate it with this one and only argan oil Moroccan argan trees is derived from the Moroccan Moroccan argan trees and is the moisture repair conditioner and then um, I'm just gonna hydrate it because I realized the last time when I used the Afuji two-step treatment my hair felt dry afterwards and then I have this mane and tail um, color protect I'm going to use it as a leave-in I'm going to use all of them as an, a leave-in and then I also found this the Brazilian um, keratin leave-in conditioner treatment and I'm going to apply that to my hair I think the first thing I'm going to apply is the keratin conditioner and um, and I'm doing all this as you can see my color is fading and I realized that the Afuji strips my hair the the first step and the second step yeah my hair feels very soft um, but I know it's going to be very dry in, dry in a few seconds so I'm just going to rehydrate using these two three products um, it seems like a lot of product, but my hair, I feel, needs it, especially because it's color treated. And I feel it's drier than it should be if it wasn't color treated. Um, I may be wrong, but I feel that's, it's my hair and that's how I feel about it. But I'm always willing to learn. So, um, any it's the, a repair solutions with a blend of argan and basso oils I'm gonna use that to seal uh -huh. I have to run down the stairs so I'm a little out of breath but I'm here so I'm sealing with it now you see once you apply this I feel there's so much slip and as you can see this it makes such a difference such a difference I'm finding that the serum oils work very well for my hair great detanglers smoothen out your hair give you shingles if you will um, the moment I applied it I got lots of curls more curl definition yeah, if you can see yeah. I'm trying to get the lighting so you can see hopefully and feels good now. Whew. I'm yet to find, I'm still 
on my quest to find a great leave-in conditioner um, and a great rinse out that I can use as a leave-in because I tend to I find the lip rinse outs are very much thicker you know and they do the job so I'm adding some more of the ion repair solutions oh. It automatically just gives you such great slip. Oh, and I feel my hair feels good. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put it in braids and then twist my hair so it dries. Um, And stop putting it in a ponytail. So let me add the this. I probably should just apply the oils directly on my hair. I mean the serum oils. I find that olive oil and the, the oils like that, almond oil and things like that just don't do the same thing for me. They just sit on my hair. But those that have been added with a little bit of silicone work well for me. I mean they do the job. And that's what I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards now just using these serum like oils directly on my hair first and then applying maybe the leavings and then and then coating them again with the oils because I find they do the detangling process on wet and dry hair better for me. Yeah. So my hair has been stripped of most of the color that I've had and I certainly will be re coloring my hair in the next day or two. I, I think it'll be Monday because tomorrow is going to be busy. Sunday is going to be busy. And I usually like to do my hair when I'm not going to have any interruptions and I'm at home by myself or even if I'm home by myself, I know there'll be no interruptions. So this is my hair after the Afoji treatment. Um... I'll see how it feels. This is the second time I've applied it. And I think the advice I've seen on, on most um, YouTube's, YouTube hair tubers, um, they always recommend that you need to re-moisturize your hair and hydrate it intensely after a protein treatment. And, and Afoji is a protein treatment. So although your hair turns out feeling nice and soft after you washed it out and silky, it, be, it could turn very crisp so that's why you, I'm using all these conditioners leave-ins and I will see how it goes and I'll probably come back and show you my hair as I've twisted it thank you